Hey guys, today we're in Bug Tussle, Alabama on the Sipsy Fork and we are trout fishing. So this is something new to us. We haven't done any trout fishing. I haven't, have you? Um, speckled trout, but that's in the ocean. Oh, okay, yeah, we've done speckled trout, but we're rainbow trout fishing. So we are south of Smith Lake and there's a, a dam up north of us that lets the water out. And that's the only reason you can have rainbow trout in this little river. So um, there's rainbow trout year round. The Wildlife and Fisheries releases fish every month. So we are at the Riverside Fly Shop. They have a boat put in. You can rent your boats from them or you can bring your own boat and they just charge you a fee to put it in. Is it $10 to put in? I believe it is. Okay. But we're also camping here. They have campsites on the river. So um, that's wonderful. We don't have to leave here. We've We've got the tent already ready and the campsite's ready. We're just going to hang out on the river and fish until we get hungry and we're going to go start a fire and hang out at the campsite and we may even come down here and fish a little bit tonight. So show them what you're using, baby. Show them what bait you're using. Natural scent, corn flavored power bait. And it's just going on a little number six hook, a little bitty hook with a split shot. I don't know if you ever see a split shot. There's a split shot on there. This uh, power bait stuff floats, and that uh, split shot, of course, will sink. And we're just bumping along the bottom. Nice. So this is on that ultralight wheel, reel that only has the one pound test. So you gotta be careful. Oh, oh. You see him in the water? Yeah, I can see him. You don't see him? Mm-hmm. He's pretty. There's nothing right with him. Is it? It's his girlfriend. He's gone under the boat. He's gone under the boat. Oh, he's not ready to be netted yet. He's gonna let him swim. I think I'm gonna like this trout fishing. Let me get it. Well, maybe not. Okay. There you go. Did he swallow it? Hmm? Did he swallow it? Yeah, he did. Yeah, we gotta save him and eat him then, don't we? We're gonna have to. Hmm. So much for releasing that one. No, yep. but. He's pretty. That's what they look like. Look at this lime on them. Oh, goodness. Yep. Where's the net? All right, that's a nice one. Where's the net? I'm getting it. Hold on. I'm getting it. Well, good job. Come here. Good job. Okay. Do I just need to let it swim a little bit? If you can guide it into the net. Hello. Don't get us wet now. Oh, hello. Come here. Good one. Oh, you did good. Yay! You my did first good. rainbow trout. You did good. Nice. Don't swallow the hook, baby. We gotta keep it. I'm pretty sure that was gonna be kept anyway. Why didn't you take it out of the net? No. That line can't pick up that fish out of the water. So show them what you're using, baby. Show them what bait you're using. Natural scent, corn flavored power bait. And it's just going on a little number six hook, little bitty hook with a split shot. I don't know if you ever see a split shot. There's a split shot on there. This uh, power bait stuff floats and that uh, split shot, of course, will sink. And we're just bumping along the bottom. Okay, so this is a pretty simple meal. 
We're just doing hobo packs with ground beef, peppers, onions, and mushrooms. Um, and we also have a trout that Patrick caught. So we're going to do a little surf and turf. So. so this place had a fire ring. And you had to pay for firewood. I paid 10 bucks. This is what they told me I could use. Which is, I'm not going to need all that tonight. Pretty sure. Partly because we ain't staying that long and there's probably about 10 copperheads in there. And then, uh, probably should have gotten the, I don't know, some people might be interested in the fire starting video. I was going to show this. So this thing stays in my truck all the time. This little Stanley cooker. And inside the little cook kettle is a, a little burner stove thing. This little thing called live fire, which is, so you, you would take it. I just want to find a stick. So you would take it and you just, uh, you, you could make one of these things and I've made them, but that's just some cotton balls and beeswax. So you fluff that thing up with your stick. You know, you set that on fire. You get your little bundles of, uh, and you can hit it with a fire, um, fair seam rod too. You just set that up under your fire until your fire gets started, you know, and you pull it out and you shut it off and you throw it back in there. It's ready to go again. Oh, so, and what else is in here is the, uh, What else is in there is an extra lighter, um, a uh, fuel canister. This is a, uh, just some wire so that I can, if I need to hang this thing up right here, I can. And a flint or a fire fire starter thing, fire striker. So all that stuff lives together, you know, just like that. And goes on top of a, another canister with a uh drink cup you know and a can of tuna fish that's all you need right there and that's not all you need because you can't just eat protein you know yeah so but in out this of pocket i keep a little bit of rice i keep a little bit of oatmeal and i keep three or four things of folders coffee and a couple of uh bullion cubes and uh so I could throw those bullion cubes in with the rice, you know. I could put it in with the oatmeal, but that's probably never been done. But anyway. So anyway, that, that's all stuff always stays in my truck, and uh, I just always have it with me, you know. And we, we use the little stove and uh, uh, burner thing quite often for uh, the coffee pot. So we'll use it with the coffee pot. I know I said I had powdered coffee in there, but that's... I mean, that's if I didn't have this right here, you know. So at least I could have coffee and protein and some carbs, you know. And then if I caught a, a nice rainbow trout and the bouillon cubes, if I could figure out a way to put some butter in here and some onions, I guess I could do minced onions, but the butter's an issue, you know. So you could anyway, do ghee. Hmm? You could do a jar of ghee. I don't even know what ghee is. It's clarified butter. It's shelf stable. Oh, uh, huh. So we threw this in the... Uh, and this water bottle always stays in my truck right here. That rubber band, because uh, that can go down in there, and that just keeps it from rattling, you know, if I happen to put it down in there, which I don't hardly ever do that. So that just stays in my truck uh, for water. And then we brought some extra you simple stuff. I mean, this is, stays in the other camper, and it's just got a knife and a can opener and a couple spoons and bags. Um, it's got some oils, you know, olive oil. And this is uh, Tony's, I think. Yeah, this is just Tony Sashery, so that's, you know, multi-purpose seasoning, which is going to go on this dude right here. You know, we'll throw that on him. Just like that. Then I'm going to get inside him and everything, too. Right. And then I'm going to throw some olive oil on him. We'll get that both sides. Butter would be better, of course. And then uh, we'll throw some slices of onions in them. Maybe a couple on the inside. 
and then a couple on the outside. Right? Yeah. And then that dude's gonna get wrapped up. Bada boom, bada bing, it's ready to go. So, I mean, this is all we, basically all we brought, you know, a cooler with, uh, of course, it had the hamburger meat in there and brought some jalapeno uh, kettle chips. And then we brought the boats. I'm gonna go over the boat tomorrow. We brought that tent, this little tent right here, a little Coleman. Coleman, I think it's a three person dome. And you know, it'd be a tight three. And then we got some good uh, mattresses. Very important. Sleep. I mean, I think is being able to sleep good, I think. Um, ties with uh, insect control as far as camping. I mean. Yeah. I think um, the most important thing for a comfortable camping trip is the mattress. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you... If you don't have a good, comfortable surface to sleep on, then you're going to be miserable. You're not going to be able to enjoy the camping trip. So, um, we don't spend a lot of money on our tents. They're just Coleman tents. You know, we just sleep in them. We don't live in them. So, we get our money's worth out of them. They last us for years, and then we just get another one. So, yeah. I know you're going to say, well, y'all got a camper. You know, I mean, what are you doing in a tent? Um, I mean, we started out tent camping. We love tent camping. The camper is nice you know but we've never been here before so uh this gives us the ability to easily change and go places that that we uh it's a lot easier to explore around without the camper on there so for quick trips like this we're just staying one night run up here throw the tent out it's gonna be nice weather um and we camp other ways too and we'll show you all, all that you know but this is what we're doing today you know really simple 30 minutes get ready take off you know yeah. Excuse the background noise. This is a beautiful setting. Uh, it is kind of close to a highway, so you're gonna hear some background noise, so we, we can deal with that. I think the fact that you can camp here, you can boat here, you don't have to leave the site. Super nice people. Y'all gotta, gotta check it out at the Riverside Fly Shop. Super nice people. Um, fire ring, unlimited firewood. So, I know, like, a lot of people, you know, they, they wait to go camping because they're like, oh, I got to get this and I got to get that and I don't have this and I don't have that. But um, there's all kinds of fancy gadgets out there that, that you don't have to have to go camping. All you need is a shelter, something to sleep on, something to stay warm with. That's really all you need, right? Yep. So um, there's no sense in... Uh, you know, breaking break the bank to buy a bunch of fancy smancy stuff. This is all we have. This is what we're using this weekend, and we're going to have a fabulous time. So, But, yeah, that's simple, and it takes no time to load up and go. So we're going to get these hobo packs of beef, peppers, and mushrooms, and onions ready and get them ready to cook. Wait, let's see, which way's up? Which way was it sitting? Like that, I think. Okay, that's up. So, I mean, you, you're gonna have to turn it. 
We're going to have to turn it to cook it. But when it's time to eat it, I don't guess it matters which side's up when we eat it because it's all going to go in our belly. If we got it the wrong way, we can eat it upside down. Yeah. All right. So there we go. The tricky part's going to be getting them back out. I know. We forgot to bring a tong or something, huh? Yeah, but we'll figure that out. All right. Wonder how long that's going to take. I would say 20 minutes on the fish. Yeah. We'll eat the fish first. All right. So these little chairs, those are our boat chairs. Um, they work fine. I mean, we, we kept it simple this weekend and just uh, brought the minimum. Oh! little hard to get up and down out of they work but uh when you're just throwing stuff in the car and going just take them in them you don't need everything it gets too complicated you just gotta use the kiss approach keep it simple stupid that's what we're trying to do this weekend right what's that we're trying to keep it simple stupid the stupid part we got covered <laughs> Pros on that. Pros on the stupid part? Yeah, but have you set a timer? No. What time is it? Uh, 15 to 7. All right. These chairs are fine. I mean, they're a little hard to get off of the floor, but... Yeah, they need a... Uh, they need one of those little necklaces that old people have. <laughs> so we can alert somebody to get up. All right. It's going to be dark when supper's done, but... I'd be all right. It'd be all right. Half a dozen right around my bait. They want nothing to do with it, but maybe one of them will get hungry in a minute. Come here. It likes this little green grub. Nice. Good one. Real good one. Yeah. The green grub is, what is that, a spinnerbait? A beetle spin. Beetle spin. A green grub beetle spin. It liked it. Let's catch some more. Woo! Hey guys, so we, we got some rain moving in, so we went ahead and packed up a little early. We were going to put the boat in this afternoon and paddle around, um, but we just didn't want to get wet because that water's cold. So. Um, if any of y'all are ever close to Bug Tussle, Alabama, y'all go check out the Riverside Fly Shop. Um, super nice folks. They'll do tours. They do camping. Uh, you can put your boat in. You can fly wire rods, rent waiter, rent life jackets. I mean, they are full service. Mm -hmm. Yep. Super nice people. Right near Jasper, Alabama. So, What's the name of it? Uh, Bug Tussle. Bug Tussle. Bug Tussle, Alabama. We keep having to reshoot because we keep calling it the wrong thing. We keep saying Big Tussle, and uh, but Bug Tussle is the name of it. It's on my hat. I don't, I don't, I don't really know how to say it, but Bug Tussle is what we're going with. So, so if you want to check out the only place in Alabama for year-round rainbow trout fishing, y'all go check out the Riverside Fly Shop. They'll take very good care of you. Awesome atmosphere, and it's just a little hidden gem, just a, real close to home. We're going to be back many more times, so, don't you think? Yeah, and if it's not rainbow trout, it's some kind of trout. We don't know what kind of trout it is. This is our first time trout fishing. Well, it's not going to be our last time, is it? Nope. So, we are hungry. We didn't pack anything for lunch, so we're going to head to Cracker Barrel. We'll catch y'all later. See ya.